When I grow up, I've decided I want to be a very famous cook and prepare the best dishes in the world. But Rita, the last time you cooked a simple fried egg, you almost burned the whole kitchen. Ah! Oh. Ha-ha! <laughs> what does that have to do with knowing how to cook? The thing with the fried egg was an accident, nothing more. Anyway, I've also decided that to be the best cook in the world, I'll go to the best culinary school in the country. Whatever you say, Rita. While you become the best chef in the world, I'm going to become a soprano. A what? A soprano is a person who sings opera. But, Momo, you don't even know what opera is. Who says I don't? Now I'll show you how well I can sing. <clears throat> oh, sole mio. Oh, sole mio. <laughs> what was that horrendous noise? It sounded like a cry for help. Moo Moo, I must confess something to you. At first I thought you were awful, but after a while when I could no longer hear anything, it sounded really nice. You have a bright future in singing. Thank you, Rita. I know as a singer I'll become a superstar. Moo Moo. <laughs> Rita, did you hear that dreadful noise? I didn't hear anything. And you, Rita, did you hear something? Rita? Can't you hear me? Did you hear that noise? Moo Moo, what's wrong with Rita? I don't know. Rita, can you hear me? Hey there, Olga, how's it going? Why are you talking so low? I can't hear you, you'll have to speak a little louder. It looks like Rita has gone a little deaf. Could it be from that noise we heard? Well, I didn't hear a thing. I was singing opera with Rita, and I didn't hear a sound. What's that? Opera? Were you the one who was making that noise? What do you mean a noise? I was singing a song in E minor, very sharp. Mumu, please don't sing again in front of me. I'm begging you. I see you don't appreciate my talent. I'm going to rehearse far away from here. Olga, when I grow up, I'm going to be a fantastic cook. Very good, Rita. But you don't have to shout, I'm not deaf. Hi, friends. What you doing? Well, Moo Moo and I were deciding on our future careers. I'm going to be a chef, and Moo Moo's going to be an opera singer. And you, Milo? What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I've always wanted to be a doctor. I'll travel the world taking care of people who are sick. Well, you can start with Rita, oh? who has gone deaf thanks to Moo Moo's <laughs> vocal cords. <laughs> now I hear just fine, now that Moo Moo is singing somewhere else. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a detective. I like to investigate everything that goes on in the valley. Detective? Hmm, what a great idea. You can investigate why Moo Moo sings so badly, right? <laughs> I don't think there's any solving that crime. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't like my sweet voice. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. I'm going to rehearse a lot, and this afternoon I'm going to give them a concert that they'll never forget. Pew, 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 pew. Talala, you got to slow down. I can't understand you. A concert? Moo Moo? Tonight? Oh, that tonight Moo Moo wants to sing a concert of opera. But that's awful. I couldn't take it, not even for a minute. It's no big deal. She's not that bad. And after a few seconds, we'll become deaf anyway. There's got to be a way for us to get out of this concert. Hi, friends. What are you all doing? Alfred, you've got to help us. Moo Moo has decided that she wants to become an opera singer. And tonight she wants to give a concert for all of us. But the poor thing does it so badly that we won't be able to take it. Well, this dilemma appears to have a simple solution. We'll cover Boo Boo's mouth so she can't sing. Alfred, how are we going to cover her mouth? Moo Moo's our friend, and if she wants to sing, we have to let her do it. What a great idea, Talalo! That 
that's what we'll do. Hi, Moo Moo. What's up? I've got a surprise that I've prepared for all of you. Ooh. I'm going to perform a concert of opera right now. Oh, how nice. A concert. All right, Moo Moo. I'm sure you'll do a great job. Yeah, a great job. But you'd better not run away or anything. Of course not, Moo Moo. We're your friends, and we'll stay until the end. Are you ready? Oh, sole mio. Oh, sole mio. The frog that didn't know how to swim. Olga, I think we need to make a treehouse. A big one that we can all stay in together. Yeah, yeah. I'd love it if it were a nice big house with a kitchen and everything. What do you mean a kitchen? We're not going to cook in it. We're going to play. I know we're not going to cook, but it would be nice. Hello, little frog. Why are you crying? Ever since I was little, I've never known how to swim, and I don't dare go in the water. I could drown. How do you know you don't know how to swim if you never tried? You have to try at least once. That way you'll know whether you can swim or not. Come on, be brave and jump in the water. We'll be here to help you. If something happens, we'll grab you right away. Come on, you can do it. We're here for you if you need us. <laughs> little frog, little frog, don't leave. We want to help you. Poor little frog. He was so scared that he didn't even try. Let's go ask the guys if they've seen him. Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Have you seen a frog jumping anywhere around here? What do you mean a frog? There are no frogs here. All the frogs are in the lake. They're swimming. No, I haven't seen a thing. Hmm. Mm -mm. We saw a frog a moment ago that was really sad because it didn't know how to swim and was afraid that his friends wouldn't help him. We told him that we were going to help him, but he was really sad and jumped away. How can that be? All frogs know how to swim. How can that be? All frogs know how to swim. What are you, a parrot? I'm not a little parrot. I'm a cow. Talalo is a parrot. Talalo, Talalo, wake up. Talalo. Talalo, are you a cow? I already knew that. You are a parrot, aren't you? Well, if nobody's seen a little frog around here, we've got to keep looking for him. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> little frog. <laughs> little frog, I know of a way for you to learn how to swim. All right, see that puddle? It's so small, so small that it's impossible to drown in it because it's not deep at all. You have to jump in and you'll see that nothing will happen to you. Come jump with me into the puddle. As you can see, it's not very deep. The water only comes up to my knees. Now you gotta copy what I do. Swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Swim and swim, swim.
swim. You see, it wasn't that hard. Now you've just got to do the same thing in the big lake. Job. We make an awesome team! All right, high five! Milo, what happened to the frog you were looking for? It was awesome! We saw the frog hiding by the lake because it was afraid to swim. But then we taught him how. And he learned so fast that he jumped from the puddle right into the lake. And what did you all do? Just hanging out with this little parrot who won't quit repeating everything I say. Hey, who won't quit repeating everything you say? You're doing it again, little parrot. Do you really think I'm a parrot? I thought you knew I was a cow. Moo. You know what, Rita? When I'm older, I want to have at least two children. A little cow like me, and a bull like my daddy. Wait, wait. I think I'm going to have two little cows and one bull. I like girls better. But I'm sure it's better if two girls play with two boys. That's if I have two cows and two bulls. Well, I don't want to have any kids. I can't stand them. They spend all day crying and eating. And then, after eating so much, they don't stop. Uh, well, you know. Huh? Now what? You know, Moo Moo, what babies do all day is sleep, eat, and... <clears throat> I don't understand you, Rita. What's the matter? Do you have a sore throat or something? Let's see, Moo Moo, what you do every day. Well, every day I wake up and I brush my teeth. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat a good breakfast. And then you? Well, and then I go play with you. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat again. But Moo Moo, don't you go to the bathroom? Yes, of course, every day. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that all day long children are oh? <clears throat> doing that. Doing what? Well, never mind, Moo Moo. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, Rita. I'm sure you're going to <clears throat> do that, right? Moo Moo! I was just joking. Wait up. I'll go with you. What are you looking at, Rita? Look at that strange looking thing. What's so strange about it? It's just a rock. That's not a rock, Moo Moo. It's an egg. An egg from what? Well, it could be an egg from a snake or an egg from a dinosaur. Or from a giraffe. Giraffes don't come from eggs, Moo Moo. We're mammals just like cows are. Oh, so what do we do with this egg? It's been abandoned, right? If you find an egg in some place, you have to leave it alone without touching it and wait for its mother to come and get it. But this one looks like it's been abandoned. That's a good point, Moo Moo. It would be better if we told everyone so we can decide what to do with this egg. Milo, Olga, Talalo, Alfred, come over here quick. I've got something incredible to tell you. Moo Moo and I have found an abandoned egg along the stone path. And do you know what animal it comes from? We don't know, but it's a really big egg. I think I know what animal it comes from. From what, Moo Moo? 
I'm convinced it's an egg that came from a cow. But cows don't lay eggs. You're mammals, Moo Moo. Yes, that's what everyone in the world believes. But I think I know the magic secret. Mm. The secret of what? It's the big secret of cows like me. But I'll tell you more about it another time. Moo Moo, every day we understand you less. We'd better go and check on that abandoned egg. The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside! a leg! And another leg! They're so pretty! How adorable! Oh, I love this! Careful! Oh, Look how fast it Don't step on it! Oh. 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 job? Don't look at me like that. I said don't look at me like that. Adorable. <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, what's the matter? You want a kiss? Come with mommy. Come with mommy. I'm going to call you Turda. I like turtles. Give me a kiss. We have a new member of the family. Yay! Yay! Rita. What an ugly looking cow, right? When I was little, was I that ugly? Moo Moo, it's not a cow, it's a turtle. I thought there was something strange. Although if you look closely, it does look like a cow. 